the first time i took my cab ride in us i was literally crying inside because it was so damn expensive so i know all these expenses add up really quickly when you're living abroad so trust me i know what it feels like to take an education loan and go for studying abroad in such a country you're constantly worrying whether you'll be able to repay this education loan back or not and and especially when you know how hard your parents have worked to earn this money in the first place so we all know what a big priority it is to save money anyhow when you're going to study abroad and that is what today's video is all about today i'm going to tell you 13 ways to save money when you're applying or going for study abroad so let's get started Hey guys welcome back and before we begin this video you might want to save this particular video because you would want to come back to this list again and again and if you are finding our videos helpful so far please don't forget to hit the like button there's so much content on youtube now that it's only your likes and comments that help us stay afloat okay so back to our money saving list okay so these are 13 ways in which you can save money on different different things i'm going to tell you all of them one by one and number 1 is saving on gre or gmat itself nowadays many schools and programs are test optional and especially if your gpa is equal to or more than 9 i think you are in a safe place and you can skip on these tests now if you are applying only to test optional universities or programs that's a straight away a saving of 220 dollars on these tests number 2 is decide on your school list before you enter the gre test room because you can send your test score reports free to four schools at least and if you send those four score reports wisely you can save uh, basically around 100 dollars that is 25 dollars on each school number 3 is try to get application fee waivers so if you write to the admission committee in a timely manner and request for a waiver of application fee if you do this timely and give a good enough reason you might be able to get this at least on some schools in your list okay now sometimes the universities do info sessions and and uh, whoever is attending these info session gets a waiver code so explore these kind of options and by doing this you can save on application fee for at least few schools and application fee can vary anywhere between 50 to 150 dollars so that can itself be a substantial saving we have done a full video on this feel free to check it out number 4 is apply to affordable universities you know like if you cannot afford spending 80000 90000 dollar in fee then don't apply to schools like cmu and columbia it's really heartbreaking when people apply and they also have an admit from columbia but then they realize that it's too expensive and they cannot afford it so do this homework before shortlisting your schools and apply only to the schools that fall in your budget and here a quick shout out to all schools in texas where the fee is usually cheaper than other states now we have covered a good list of good roi pro programs and some of my favorite ones are sunny stony brook tamu and perdu so check out the full list in this video and pick out the schools that fall under your budget fifth tip is to apply to schools which are in cities where living costs are more affordable okay now it's a no brainer that obviously new york city or san francisco is going to be much much more expensive to live in than anywhere in iowa or illinois okay so if you're really really short on money you can consider applying to schools which are in suburban areas and by doing this you can uh, save at least up to like you know 15000 dollar on your living costs now i'm not saying you should do this but you this is an option if you're really really short on money because living around in big cities in silicon valley in in new york city in austin in boston has its own advantages because there are many um, employers around and it can really help in your job hunt but if you just like saving money is your priority at this moment then you can try applying to schools in suburban areas as well and this is why i actually love stony brook because it's a drivable distance from new york city so not not that far far but still it's a very like you know it's a pretty low cost university so look for these kind of sweet spot and universities which are good but at the same time keep the living expenses low as well a sixth point is like you know get a high gpa and a gre score 
now some universities give out some form of like financial aid in form of tuition waiver to meritorious students so if your gpa is 9 plus or if you have a super high gre score like 330 plus or something then some universities might give you that extra financial aid right away for example i know syracuse gives 20 to 30% tuition waiver at times to students with really good scores so if your academic profile stands out you can like you know get a few merit based financial awards like this which is a saving of straight away 10 to 20000 dollars on your fee so this is definitely worth checking out seventh point is you can apply to scholarships like fulbright which covers everything like you know your tuition your living your air fare everything uh, but there are also scholarships like tata and aga khan which give you like partial scholarship and partial interest free loans so these are some ways in which you can like you know save money after you have received admits so check this video where we shared a list of scholarships which are uh, like you know applicable for indian students now do remember that uk has much more scholarships like these than than us in fact there are i think 20000 plus scholarships available for indian students in uk which includes commonwealth shevning scholarships etc they cover all your expenses but here the downside with both fulbright or uk scholarships is that like you may have to move out of that country so if you graduate in us or uk you cannot work there for some time you have to leave those countries and go and work somewhere else after your graduation but i mean the cost saving is such a huge relief like you you are almost getting 100k dollars worth of financial aid so it's a still a very prestigious uh, fellowship and scholarship so do consider it if you are financially constrained number 8 is get your education loan from a public state bank instead of a nbfcs and by doing this you can easily save 1 to 3% on your interest rates now it's a nightmare to deal with banks like sbi because there's so much process involved so much paperwork involved but trust me it's worth it because you get a much lower interest rate in these banks as opposed to if you go with a private nbfc kind of a institution number 9 is book your flight early and get discounted fare so like you know there are a lot of student deals going on in june and july for students who are flying abroad and if you get a right deal you can easily save like you know 100 or 150 dollars on your air fares number 10 is more obvious like try to live with roommates at least in your first year cut down on your expenses try to do a little cooking at home itself instead of eating out all the time and by doing all this you can get like you know some savings on your living expenses pretty easily number 11 is look for assistantships after you have arrived on campus i feel like i keep saying this in every single video because that's how important this is and i still don't understand why people don't try this enough so if you get a ta ship or ra ship or ga ship you can get 50 to 100% tuition waiver which is a huge deal right that itself is like saving off anywhere up from like 20000 dollars to let's say $50,000. So try to get a assistantship and it's very much doable even after you have arrived on campus you may not get it in the first semester itself you can get it second semester or later and this is how like you know I had a RA ship which gave me 100% tuition waiver as well as paid me a stipend so I never spent a penny on my masters in UIUC. We have covered this in extreme detail in our funding master class. So if you are somehow still you have not heard this point from me before or if you are new to this channel do check out that master class because there i give you all the detailed steps on how to crack these uh, assistantships in us number 12 is early jobs on campus now if you're not able to secure a assistantship or get a scholarship you can still find part time work on campus uh, this can include working in libraries or some other offices like these i usually do not recommend this because it's a wastage of your time and it pays you only 10 to 15 dollars per hour plus it does not add any skills on your resume so i don't recommend this unless you're really really desperate for money but if you are then you can try this option out and i think you can earn maybe like you know 100 dollars 120 dollars per week by doing this and 13th and the last tip is avail student discounts now in us uk and these countries there are a lot of things on which you can get a student discount and most famous is of course the apple back to school program which gives you great discounts on apple devices for example even apart from that like on big software like adobe 
or canva they usually give like you know student discounts so check out all the softwares and everything that you're using and you can probably get some sort of a student deal on discount on those things as well all they require is you have to validate it by filling a dot edu email address which you will have from your university anyway so don't miss out on that it's 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 a great perk of uh, going to the grad school okay so those were my 13 favorite and exhaustive and doable ways of saving some money if you are applying or planning to go to study abroad i hope you like it did i miss out on anything if you have any other items that we can add in this list then please comment in the comment box below and i hope you're enjoying these videos and we will be back next time with a fresh new video until then take care and good luck bye bye